is a 15 years old girl who was suffering from severe back pain for the last couple of years and it was hampering her daily activities and she could not play any sports. In her country, she was diagnosed with coccyxolemia. When we investigated her, we actually found a very rare condition which is S1, S2 dysplasia. In normal people, the sacrum is a single bone. It is actually made up of four bones, S1, S2, S3, S4, but they all fuse together to form a single bone. But in Lisa's case, the S1, S2 did not fuse and between S1 and S2 there was a disc just like there is a disc between L5 and S1 actually in her case there was a disc here and between S1 and S2 there were joints here which were dysplastic they were not able to give her full support so we did describe all this in detail to her and her parents and we finally arrived at the decision that we need to fuse this so we finally did spinal fixation and fused L L4 to S2 with the help of screws and bone graft and we are very happy that she is completely pain free at the end of 3 weeks from surgery. My name is Winnie. Uh, this is my daughter Lisa. She is 15 years old. We are from Kenya and currently in India. Um, my daughter had a problem with her back where we thought it was basically her cosics. And we went around so many hospitals in Kenya trying to get treatment and everything. And they advised us to have surgery, but we were not very confident, we were not sure of what to do. So it took us almost two years to decide to have an alternative. And that's when we got to know of our Temis through somebody from Kenya. And we traveled to Kenya, uh, to India like three weeks ago. Uh, when we came, uh, we were given a very rigorous sort of uh, assessment where we had so many x-rays, so many, uh, there was a CT scan, MRI, all those things. And they were able to find out that what we thought she was suffering from was actually a bit different because they realized her spine was also weak in as much as she didn't have the cosmetic, her spine was also very weak. And uh, we met Dr. Hitesh Akar, he's the one who came up, you know, with the diagnosis and he said we needed surgery for for her spine and it was very scary because all along we had avoided surgery completely when we were in Kenya. But now that we were here, I don't know, for some reason we got confident that he knew what he was saying and uh, we believed that, you know, with God on our side because we are also Christians and I believed we were not going to travel that far only to come and get disappointed. And the first day we came in after all the things were done, she was scheduled for the surgery the next day. And uh, the surgery took seven and a half hours, which were the longest times for us. But she came out okay. The hospital is quite nice. The nurses were nice. Everybody was actually quite kind to us. So it made the healing a bit easier. And as you can see her, it's like three weeks since the surgery or not exactly three weeks, but almost three weeks. She can sit on her own. She can walk. She can use the bathroom. She's basically back to normal. And she can sit. She never used to sit like this. She used to sit and there was so much pain. Every time she sits, there is pain. So we thank the doctors at the Temis, we thank the nurses, we thank everybody who came, you know, to help us, to comfort us, to give us the moral support. And most of all, we thank God because he has really come through for us. Um, I'd like to say thank you to the, the doctors as well as the nurses who helped me through the healing process as well as during the surgery. Um, I think they helped a lot, even the especially the, also the physiotherapist and all of them. Yes, thank you.